Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to SS Customs. I just recently finished repairing my mosquito magnet and I wanted to do a little walkthrough on what went wrong and how to fix it. This uh, unit is an older unit, about six years. It's the Defender model and it was recently replaced by the Patriot model. Now Mosquito Magnet does have several other machines but they all incorporate this one item inside. It's called a thermistor and the thermistors tend to go bad. So aside from the normal reboot and startup procedure that the manual tells you to do and the PDFs tell you to do online, this is the type of repair that the manufacturers suggest you take it into a service department and have fixed. And I believe that the average guy can do it himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's done. Uh, the cause of this problem is more often than not when you move the machine or bump it. So basically, uh, the other day, I turned the unit off and I picked it up, moved it to the other side of the yard, and inside it rattles loose the thermistor and it breaks free. Um, and it's also recommended that when you do turn a machine off, that you let it cool down naturally with its own fan, because the heat inside there is contributes to this component breaking uh, because of the plastic rivet that holds it in place it gets brittle and breaks off. So let's get into this side of this. So basically there's four screws, one in each corner underneath, and you simply take those screws off and lift this lid off like that, and you expose the inside. And right inside here you're gonna see the thermistor. This right here is the manifold, and that's essentially where the thermistor is located. It's going to be somewhere attached to the manifold. Now on the Defender and the Patriot, it looks just like this, but the other models may be a little different and might be in a different location. But what you end up with is this small little unit here, two wires that go over the circuit board. And this is held in from the factory by a plastic tab. They simply push this unit on, put heat to the tab, and it melts it like a like the head of a rivet. Over time that tab gets brittle and as you move this thing around, <clears throat> change your tank, rattle it, it breaks off and you might take this lid off, in my case like I did, and this unit, this thermistor was just hanging here, not connected. And what, what it is, is a temperature sensor essentially. It uses resistance and it uses that resistance and changes the voltage in these two lines telling the machine what to do. So when that falls out, it can no longer do that and you're gonna get the infamous blinking red light on the switch, the fast blinking red light, which is code for failed thermistor. So simple repair, all I did was remove the cover. I drilled out the plastic insert that's inside the manifold with a small bit, real easy to do. It was brittle anyways. And then I just found a simple screw, a, a regular threaded screw, and I put the thermistor back in place, screwed it in, didn't even have to thread it because it's aluminum, it kind of bites on its own, and voila, the unit works like a charm. There is a way to test this thermistor. You unplug it right here, put the unit on the bench, put your own meter to the two wires, red and black, either way, doesn't matter and set your meter to 2000 ohms and you should get a reading, you should get a very high reading and then what I did is I took a cigarette lighter and simply heated up the tip of the thermistor and as you heat it up you're going to see that resistance drop. The key here is moving resistance. There isn't really a value, not important, what's important is whether it moves or not. As long as it's moving it should function. <clears throat> if it doesn't move, replace the unit as well. So after doing all that, I did my normal startup procedure and sure enough, the unit fires right back up, six years and running. So hopefully that helps some of you folks out with your mosquito magnet. I tell you what, without this running for the summer months here in Florida, I would not be able to be outside with the kids and working in the shop. If you have any doubts whether or not these units work, give it a try. They absolutely do a fantastic job eradicating mosquitoes and no see -ems. Uh, I did make another video, uh, part two, if you will, in how to set one of your, how to set your mosquito magnet up in your yard, where to place it, some techniques to get the most efficiency out of it, uh, things I've learned over the years placing it in different parts of the yard. So again, thanks for watching. SS Customs signing off.